Let us do some exercises by graphing some functions. We graph the function f, which is composed of three ordered pairs, 5, 4, negative 2, 0, 3, negative 1. So we draw our coordinate axis, x and y. The first pair is 5, 4 on the positive x-axis, 5 units. On the positive y-axis, 4 units. So more or less, this is the location of the point, 5, 4. The second pair is negative 2, 0. 2 units to the left, negative x-axis and your ordinate is 0. So that is the point negative 2, 0. And finally, 3, comma, negative 1. Positive 3 on the x-axis and negative 1 on the negative y-axis. That is the location of the point 3, comma, negative 1. So the graph of f is comprised of three points, 5, 4, negative 2, 0, and 3, negative 1. And from the given elements of f, we can say that the domain of f is composed of the numbers 5, negative 2, and 3. While the range of f is comprised of the numbers 4, 0, and negative 1. We now draw the graph of f of x equal to 7 minus 2x. This is a linear equation. And a linear equation will always have a line for its graph. Now, you may write the equation as y equal to 7 minus 2x. To draw the graph of y equal to 7 minus 2x, it is best that we determine the x and y intercepts. For the x intercept, we usually set y to 0. By doing so, we'll have y 7 minus 2x equal to 0 or x equal to 7 over 2. So that means that the graph of the line will pass through x equal to 7 over 2 or 3.5. Then for the y-intercept, we just set x to 0. By doing so, we'll be getting y equal to 7. Okay, so uh, the line will pass through the point 0, 7, and 7 halves, 0. We then connect these two points, and that is the graph of the line y equals to 7 minus 2x, or the graph of the function f. Next, we draw the graph of the function f defined by f of x equal to x squared minus 4. This is a quadratic equation and the graph of a quadratic equation is a parabola. So, we can resort to point plotting. We can start at x equal to 0. When x is 0, your y is equal to negative 4. So the point is 0, negative 4. So the point is along the y-axis, 0, negative 4. And that is actually the vertex of the parabola. 
Next, when x is 1, y equal to 1 squared minus 4. When x is 1, y is equal to 1 squared minus 4 or negative 3. So you have the point 1 comma negative 3. x is 1 and y is negative 3. When x is negative 1, your y is negative 1 squared minus 4 and that is also equal to negative 3. So the other point is x equal to negative 1 and y equal to negative 3. When x is 2, y equal to 2 squared minus 4, that gives you 0. So 2, 0 is another point. And when x is negative 2, y is also equal to 0. Since this is a quadratic equation and we know that this is a parabola, you have these points and you can clearly see that indeed the graph is a parabola with vertex at 0, negative 4, opening upward. From the graph itself, we know that the domain of the function f is the set of all real numbers. For any x, there will be a corresponding y, and the range is from negative 4 to positive infinity. The y value starts, the y values start at negative 4 to positive infinity, negative 4 included. Let us now draw the graph of the uh, piecewise function f defined by f of x equal to the negative of x if x is less than 0 and 2 plus x if x is greater than or equal to 0. So in here, the domain of the function f is divided into two intervals, less than 0 and greater than or equal to 0. So from negative infinity to 0, and from 0 to positive infinity. So the function f of x is negative x on this interval, negative infinity to 0, and equal to 2 plus x for the interval 0 to positive infinity. In both cases, or in both intervals, the graph of f is a line. For the first interval negative infinity to 0, the line y equal to negative x. And for the interval 0 to positive infinity, the line y equal to 2 plus x. Okay? So we have the x and y axis. We start with the interval negative infinity to 0 y equal to negative x. So for any x in this interval 0 to neg or negative infinity to 0, yeah, the graph is that of the line y equal to negative x. So let us choose any two x values on this interval. Two points are enough to determine the graph of the line. So when x is negative 2, your y is the negative of negative 2 or positive 2. Then when x is 0, y is 0, but that point is excluded. Huh? Because 0 is not in the interval. Just for the purpose of determining the endpoint of the graph of f on that interval, let x be equal to 0, your y is 0. But that point is excluded. So, since these are two points in the line, you can just connect them. We just connect these two points. Okay, so that will be the line. Let us uh, straighten our line. Okay. And then for the interval, 0 to positive infinity, the equation of f is y equal to 2 plus x. 
So when x is 0, which is now included in the interval, your y is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. And when x is 1, y is 3. Again, two points are enough to determine the graph of the line. So for the interval 0 to positive infinity, that is supposed to be the graph. Okay? So the domain is obvious that it is the set of all real numbers. While the range starts at 0 to positive infinity. And y equal to 0 is not included. No? y equal to 0 is not included, so it's open as 0 to positive infinity. Let us draw another piecewise function g. Define by g of x equal to negative 2 if x is less than negative 2. g equal to 3 minus 2x if x is between negative 2 to positive 2 inclusive of the endpoints. And 4 minus x is squared if x is greater than 2. So again, we have the coordinate axes, the x and y axes. And the domain is divided into three intervals. No? From negative infinity to negative 2. From negative 2 to positive 2. Including the endpoints and for the interval 2 to positive infinity. So, we start with the first interval negative infinity to negative 2. The graph of G is a horizontal line equal to negative 2. Since negative 2 is not included in the interval, so we have an open right end. We have the horizontal line y equal to negative 2. For the interval negative 2 to positive 2, it is the line 3 minus 2x. So since the endpoints are included, let us get the corresponding y values. So 3 minus 2 times negative 2, that becomes 3 plus 4, which is 7. 1, 2, let us say... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, it's somewhere there. Negative 2, 7. And when x is 2, 3 minus 2 times 2, that will be 3 minus 4, or negative 1. So it's supposed to be this line. There. The endpoints are included. 2, negative 1. And for the interval 2 to positive infinity, when x is 2, y is 0, but it is open-ended. That is actually a parabola no? with vertex at 0, 4. Vertex at 0, 4, opening downward. But we will not include the graph for x less than 2, no? We just consider the graph of the parabola for all x is greater than 2. This is supposed to be the parabola, no? but we will not include that. So it starts at x equal to 2, 0. So it's opening downward. Okay, so what is the domain of the function g? It is a set of all real numbers, while the range is from negative infinity up to positive, no, up to this point only, where y is 7. So that will be from negative infinity, the y values from negative infinity up to the maximum value of 7. And 7 is included. Huh? 7 is included in the range. We draw the graph of the unit step function which is another example of a piecewise function. The unit step function is defined by 0 if x is less than 0 and 1 if x is greater than or equal to 
zero. So the domain of the unit step function, unit step function, is divided into two from negative infinity to zero and from zero to positive infinity. So in both cases, in both intervals, the graph of U is a horizontal line. So for negative infinity up to zero, the endpoint is excluded. The value of Y is zero. So it is the negative x-axis. And for x greater than or equal to 0, the value is 1. So all throughout, within that interval, your y is 1. So the endpoints are 0, 1, and 0, 0. Clearly, the domain is the set of all real numbers, while the range consists of two numbers, 0 and 1. No? So there are only two y values, 0 and positive 1. Next is the signal function. The signal function of x. The signal function x is equal to negative 1 if x is less than 0, 0 if x is 0, and 1 if x is greater than 0. So we have here, again, the x and the y-axis. We have the interval negative infinity to 0, then x equal to 0, and 0 to positive infinity. For less than 0, the graph is y equal to negative 1. So horizontal line parallel to the x-axis going towards negative infinity, 0, negative 1. When x is 0, it's very specific. No? For x equal to 0, y is 0, so that must be a point, which is the origin. And for x greater than 0, x is equal to 1. Again, the end point is excluded. So the domain is the set of all real, while the range, there are three values for the range, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. 